and of course uh, the brand new Xbox, which is TV, 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 sports, TV, TV, sports, and COD. <laughs> <laughs> well, so at- far it might be more. I, I've seen a lot about it. Yeah, um, I am actually going to get it over oh. the PlayStation. I even though there's far more games. Are you still going to get it, knowing that Amazon and Overclockers have listed it with a six hundred pound price tag? Uh yes, because I won't be getting it as soon as it comes out. Okay. I'll be getting it much later on because I'm not going to make the same mistake. Maybe Microsoft and Sony have learnt the lessons. I'm not going to get the first edition. I'm not buying for something as much as that and have it burn out. Mm hmm. So, so, or, you know, for some of a fatal flaw. Right, I've got 64 stack of TNT and 8 TNT. Very good. We shall talk more about the Xbox later. Well, uh, actually, what do we do I, now? I, I do you have gonna... Mobis Fuel? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, right. I cannot find it. I think that's. It's like it, everything we last made has sort of disappeared, which is really weird. Oh, right. Maybe it got deleted or somehow. Because I know that you were <laughs> throwing some opus fuel. It's dark matter going into this recycler. Um, uh, yeah, it should be, because that's yeah, to yeah. prevent uh, overloading. Yeah. But... I thought we kept some aside. We... Did we convert... No, you can't convert it into... Hmm. I'm just trying... I'm just trying... How do you make Mobius Fuel again? It's from coal, uh, isn't it? Yeah, it's coal with the Philosopher's Stone. Well, I've got the Philosopher's Stone in here. Okay, I've got some coal. I'll pass it to you. Okay. There you go. I've got the Philosopher's Stone, so I'll... Uh, excellent. I think you picked it up. I can still see it on the floor, but... Well, no, just... that's a melon. Do you want the Philosopher's Stone? No, I mean, I can still see coal here, which I've just Oh, oh no, I can't pick anything up at the moment. I'm just oh, right. completely full. Okay, um, I'll, I'll put the coal in the shape for you. Oh, God. What, there you go. What there? Okay. Yep, yep, there, we there we go. There we go. Finally got there. So that's some maybe for alchemy, alchemy coal. So I'm yeah, put alchemy that in. coal. Uh, which small then coal. I'll just remove that. Remove that coal. Let's get some more coal. Uh, we don't actually need more coal, do we? Oh, do we? can we not? What's it doing? What's it? What? what? Oh, I don't want to click that. What? what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. No, not you. <laughs> Ah, uh, never mind. There we go. Okay, so there's Ahem. Mobius. A Mobius, Mobius. Although, yeah, we can sit more here. What do you think of the uh, the stuff about the new Connect? I found it very curious because I saw that in one of the specifications, uh, the new Xbox must have the new Connect connected to it. Yes. Then a few weeks later, or a few days later, probably. But a few weeks in my time frame, uh, the, there was news that if you have, it, basically they'll be using um, advertisements and you'll get rewards, and the Connect will record whether or not you're watching that. That's how they would determine whether you're watching. Right. Uh, that's what I read. Whether that's true, I don't know. Okay. Um, I, I I haven't read the spe- specifications. So is that what you're on about, or you're on about how it's been implemented? Um, I mean, used. in the way that, well, although they've now said that you can supposedly switch it off. Originally, yeah. it was believed that basically, um, when the Xbox is off, yeah, the Connect is still on, and it can still look at you and listen to you, yeah, because you can give it the command to switch on, yeah. So, of course, um, that being plus, I think there was a patent uh, by Microsoft ages ago. For the projector, <laughs> That's uh, sort of oh, I, I don't, <laughs> there was like something else to do with the connect, and basically, some people have come up with like theoretical ideas of what if, say, <coughs> say you say you're watching a film, yes, and you paid for the three of you to watch a film. Oh, it would detect how many faces. Yeah, and if a friend walks yeah. in, and it will pop up and say, "You've got to pay more." That's what I understood the new connect can do. It can detect the number of faces in a room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, like, that, people... that's how it's detecting whether or not you're going to watch advertisement. Yeah, so people are obviously yeah. saying, like, well, you know, if you pay yeah. for something already, you know. I can see it's going to be one of those things where it's kind of like the online service thing, where you, can, you can't you can watch this film unless you have the Kinect on. You mm. can't play this game unless you have the Kinect on. It's it's kind of one of these things. You can turn it off, but you won't be able to do this. You won't be able to do that. Yeah. It is... It's good in one respect. I, I don't mind it as in it's an intrusion of my privacy. I'm not so worried about that. It can be used for all that, but maybe I'm putting too much trust in Microsoft. I don't... I'm not going to suspect that, you know, someone's taking a video of me or watching me play a game or something. I, I'm not so worried about that. Um, maybe you should be. Maybe I should be. I don't know. Um, but I, as long as it enhances what the Xbox can do, whether, you know... Is it going to be more easier 
to navigate? Is it going to be a greater experience? As long as it contributes to that, I don't care um, so much uh, about privacy concerns on whether or not it could be used for this way or not. Mm. I, if they start using it that way, obviously I will be concerned, but I don't foresee you know it's going to be used for that case. Cases where it's going to be used for, oh, you got to watch this advertisement, you know, you'll get an award. If it's an option to, you know, yeah, you can watch it and you'll get rewards or you don't have to watch it. That's okay. But if I have to be forced to watch advertisements to make money, you know. But I can see that it, because obviously they, they're dedicating hundreds of servers, which is interesting in its own monologue as well. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously they need to be paid for. And so they need other ways. You can't just bump up the price of a subscription. Because mm -hmm. there is going to be a subscription package. Yeah. Um, they're probably going to keep it the same as the current Xboxes, so it's competitive. Um, maybe maybe they might increase it. But you got to look for other ways to get the funds in without increasing that price. So mm -hmm. those are ways. You can't have the best of both worlds. You can't have it completely free. Y you might be able to, in them, but they wouldn't be making a profit. You know, this money's got to come from somewhere, you know, to upgrade the Xbox, to, you know, keep the servers running, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. So... I'm all for it, to be honest. Um, okay. As long okay. as it increases my experience at the end of the day. I'm kind of on the side of all the, the angry gamers who are like, where, where, where was the game-related stuff? Mm. Why, why are you shoving TV and sports in our face? I think that the reason why... It, that will come with E3. No, no, I know that, but it's mm. like the Xbox is, is, is a gaming console. Yeah. The it, TV stuff is only available in North America on release. Okay. Um... So, you know, the rest of the world, it, it doesn't, none of that stuff's available. Mm -hmm. So, really, that should have come like after, maybe the end of E3. Mm. They shouldn't have had the whole press release based around it. I think maybe because it's, it's, it's one specification. He's trying to get that edge over Sony. I mean, what, what distinguishes the Xbox from the PS3? It, it has graphics. The PlayStation 3 has graphics. They're both exactly the same in gaming terms, almost. Mm -hmm. So, it has to show why is it more, why get me. Apart True. From PlayStation 3. But then people are arguing that um, basically to use the TV stuff, you have to pay for uh, the Xbox like gold. Mm -hmm. When on top of that, you're already paying for, in America, you're paying for your cable subscription. Mm -hmm. So why should you have to pay at Microsoft for the ability to watch your TV when you're already paying your cable mm -hmm. provider to watch TV? You're kind of paying twice to be able to watch your TV on your TV. Well, on your TV, yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe that will improve over time. I mean, for example, the one thing I can see, maybe not on release in the UK, is Sky. Because Sky is one thing that you can, you can watch via the Xbox on. <clears throat> yes, yes. See... Of course, the annoying thing about yeah, that is... You have to be a Sky... Uh, you have to be... Uh, well, you have, you have to be, obviously, get, have Sky. But, mm. I mean, I, I've, I've got Sky and I love it, but... You have to be paying Xbox Live Gold, mm -hmm. and you have to be paying the extra ten pound a month for Sky Multi Room on top of that, mm. just to be able to get that on your Xbox. Um, just this Alchemy Coal. Uh, we place it another uh, one there. Yeah, we're gonna need more, aren't we? Uh, yeah. Hold on, we swap that out for coal. Yeah. Um, make some more. Okay. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can see the angle in that, but I think that's one thing that could only improve in time. I can see your. Yeah. What. It's, it's a gaming console. It should be first gaming console. Um, but they're trying to make the edge of it being an entertainment unit because there's a huge market at the moment for the, the, the first company to make a home entertainment unit. Mm -hmm. There's Samsung who are trying to embed it in the TV itself with you know mm -hmm. the emotion contract. There is Apple who are trying to supposedly uh, make their own uh, with Apple TV. And that mm -hmm. may be come in the form of a TV or it may be a, an upgraded version of the Apple TV that they've currently got going. Mm -hmm. um, and there's many other people who are trying to just get in that market. I mean, Sony, uh, with their PlayStation 3, tried to do that. It mm -hmm. was always a, you know, it, since PlayStation 2, in fact, you know, it's a DVD player. Mm -hmm. uh, play, you know, PlayStation 3, it's a Blu-ray player. So I think, you know, the Xbox are trying to get into that and, and to fill that market because the gaming... Uh, uh, market is already competitive it is but this no one's been successful in making a home entertainment unit mm -hmm. i mean that's been probably successful the xbox is a perfect platform for that so i can see why uh why they want to push for that um really you have to wait for e3 i think everything's gonna be unveiled there what games are going to come out uh, i think things i think fans will be a lot more pleased after e3 mm. um because obviously 
I think Sony did a good thing. I, I not not say it's Sony completely themselves. Obviously, there's a lot of Japanese companies that are backing the Sony side, um, like uh, you know, Kojima mm-hmm. uh, <clears throat> with his department, uh, and they were basically they've already got games waiting, yeah. and they they were waiting for this Sony press release so that they they could they announce. Mm-hmm. And it's not so much that dedication, I don't think, with the Xbox side. Uh, I mean, you, you do have uh, Call of Duty. Uh, Activision and that side, but there's not so many companies uh, that are waiting for that announcement, and I think that's why uh, people are a bit annoyed because mm. uh, you know th- these companies haven't announced. Well, wait for E3, basically, is or or all I can say. I, I think people will be a bit more pleased at that end. Hmm. I, I, yeah, <clears throat> I'm I'm hesitant about it. Yeah, I I assume you're definitely going to go for a PlayStation Three anyway. Uh, four. Four. I think three. <laughs> My my mind is elsewhere. I'm trying know, to think I of. Um, okay, so you have the Mobius fraud. Do you have the next one up from that? Um, are we using Mobius? Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Are for we, the uh... Nova, I don't know how many of these Nova catalysts we want. So. Oh yeah, I need eight in Nalis. So hold on, we put the thing back in there, and then it's like that. Is it? Yeah, we can make one. So I suppose really we're just going to test them, aren't we? So yeah, let's go test one. I've got I've got stuck a sixty four TNT here anyway. So excellent. Okay, so we've got Nova Catalyst, we've got two Cataclysm and TNT. Uh, we just need to make a nuke really, and then we can test them. Okay, uh, how do we make a nuke? Uh, good question. I don't think the recipe is viewable in here, so I'll get Firefox open again. Yeah, what what do you think about the the sort of semi confirmed, semi unconfirmed rumors of the pre-owned fee. Yeah, uh, I think it's definitely going to go ahead. Um, I can see... Because the, the thing is, it's, it's a bit of a conundrum. I don't know how it's going to go. Because there's different laws in the States and there's different laws in the UK. Mm-hmm. Because I, I think you were the one that actually told me the uh, fact about Steam. That they, under EU law, have to set up a sort of mechanism or platform for people to resell their games. Yes. Um, that they have to. So that's going to also apply for Xbox. There has to be a system. Yes. So I can see why they want to control that because it's a huge market. If you um, can set up somehow where people can resell their, you know, their, their gaming code, because I think that's how it's going to be sold digitally. You'll have this code uh, and you'll take ownership of that code. And then you want to resell it, you'll basically sell that off and someone else can own that code, mm-hmm. basically. I think that's how it's going to work online mm-hmm. uh, with the Xbox. Um, how do I think about it? Um, it's not going to... F- it, it depends on how controlling they are of it. Whether or not they're going to set up fees. I haven't read too much about it other than that you know they're going to possibly do this. Mm-hmm. If they're going to set up fees or you know, uh, are they going to take commission on it for every transaction... Um, I, I know. Is the person who's paying for the second hand just going to pay for what the person wants to sell, or is it going to be a standard set amount where it's just you can buy it second hand and get generic? Um, because the thing is, is that what do you get from buying it second hand? Um, you are, you get it cheaper, obviously. Well, if you're having a market where you're selling the actual game for four free already for forty pounds and then mm-hmm. you're also selling the second hand for twenty pounds. Um what what what's what's the benefit of actually paying full price? Um you know, it, it, it's it's like okay I'm gonna get am I gonna get all these extras? Mm-hmm. Um and obviously there's only gonna be a limited amount of second hand. Is it gonna be regional? Is it gonna be only people in UK? Is it only people in Europe or can I buy someone from the States? It's things like that. There's a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. Um, it could be great in that it's going to be no different. The only people who are going to be moaning about it are the people, you know, the shop, the shops, basically, that do monopolize on that already. Mm. Um, well, well, what do you think of people like buying, say, a pre-owned game from the shop, 20 quid, and then having to pay potentially 40 quid to Microsoft to activate it? Um... See, that, that is like Microsoft trying to... Trans- I, I don't think it's going to be an extra 40 quid on top. It may be £5, it may be 10 it may be a percentage. Oh, well, the current rumours are that basically you're paying retail price to activate it. Okay, so you, you pay second-hand and then you have to pay again. Yeah. So basically what they're doing there is destroying the, the market for you know, second-hand or pre-owned games. Yeah. Um, Hold on, before you carry on, do you have uh, gunpowder? I 
don't have gunpowder, no. I okay. have loads of TNT. I can get some gunpowder from here. Okay, though. excellent. I shall do that now. 